In this video, you will learn How to measure water level in open tank with DP transmitter and bubble pipe And how to measure level in closed tank with DP transmitter and dry impulse line First of all, how to measure water level in open tank with differential pressure transmitter and bubble pipe as you can see from the picture that, differential pressure transmitter is installed 10 inch below from minimum level of liquid in a tank. And high port side of DPT is connected with bubble pipe. Now, set the purge rotameter until there is a constant stream of small air bubbles. Because of bubble pipe, transmitter position does not affect calibration range, and we can neglect transmitter installation. So, even though transmitter is installed 10 inch below from 0% baseline, it does not affect calibration range. As you can see from the picture that low port side of DPT remains in open to air. In other words, it does not connect with anything. Therefore, low port side is 0 inch H2O pressure, and it does not affect the calibration range. Now, Let's go to calculation table in order to calculate range for DP transmitter. As you can see from the table that, at zero percentage level, transmitter high side has zero inch H2O pressure. As I said earlier, due to dry leg, transmitter position does not affect calibration range. Similarly, transmitter low side is an open to air. So, transmitter low side has zero inch H2O pressure. Now, Differential pressure is difference of input high side pressure and input low side pressure. So, at zero percentage level, differential pressure is zero inch H2O. Now, let's understand calculation for 100 percentage level. At 100 percentage level, transmitter high side has 30 inch H2O pressure. 30 inch is a distance from zero percentage level to 100 percentage level. As we know, Transmitter low side is in open to air. So, transmitter low side has 0 inch H2O pressure at 100 percentage level. Now, differential pressure is 30 inch H2O at 100 percentage level. And calibration range is 0 inch H2O to 30 inch H2O. Now, we have to set 0 inch H2O as lower range value, and we have to set 30 inch H2O as upper range value in DP transmitter by using heart communicator. Now, how to measure level in close tank with differential pressure transmitter and dry impulse line. This method of liquid measurement is also known as dry leg method. As you can see from the picture that, differential pressure transmitter is installed 10 inch below from 0% baseline. High port side of DP transmitter is connected with tank. And process fluid in a tank puts pressure on high side of DP transmitter. This pressure is also known as wet leg. Low port side of DP transmitter is connected with impulse line. And impulse line is filled with gas or air. It is known as dry leg. Since impulse line is filled with gas or air, it does not put any kind of pressure on low port side of DP transmitter. In addition to this, height of dry impulse line does not affect level measurement in dry leg calibration method. Hence, low port side of DP transmitter has 0 inch H2O pressure. Now, let's assume that process fluid specific gravity is 0 0.9 in this example. Let's go to calculation table. As you can see from the table that, at 0 percentage level, DP transmitter high port side has 10 inch H2O pressure. This pressure multiply with specific gravity of fluid which is 0 0.9 in this example. 10 multiply with 0 0.9 gives 9. So, at 0 percentage level, transmitter high side has 9 inch H2O pressure. As we know that, DP transmitter low port side is connected with dry impulse line. So, DP transmitter low port side has 0 inch H2O pressure at 0 percentage level and 100 percentage level. Now, input high side pressure minus input low side pressure gives differential pressure. So, differential pressure is 9 inch H2O at 0% level. 
Now, let's understand the calculation for 100 percentage level. At 100 percentage level, pressure acting on high port side is 40 inch H2O. And it multiply with specific gravity of process fluid, which is 0.9 in this example. So, it gives 36 inch H2O. As we know that, DP transmitter low side has 0 inch H2O pressure. So, differential pressure is 36 inch H2O at 100 percentage level. In this example, lower range value is 9 inch H2O. And upper range value is 36 inch H2O. So, we need to set 9 inch H2O as lower range value, and we need to set 36 inch H2O as upper range value in DP transmitter by using heart calibrator. In conclusion, level measurement in closed tank with dry impulse line always gives positive calibration range for DP transmitter. Thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you really like this video. If you have any questions or confusion regarding this video, please do not hesitate to ask me questions in comment box. I will give best possible answers to your questions. And please subscribe this channel, and press bell icon so that you will get notification when we post video.